I'm sure you'd like to know about vibrato. Um, most people learn vibrato after about a year of playing because you have to play in tune. It's recommended you play in tune before you start doing vibrato. But on that case, everyone's different. Some people want to learn it earlier. Some people naturally find a way to the vibrato. So, uh, but it's up to you when you want to do the vibrato or when you want to teach it. But usually we make sure the students are playing in tune, so that can take a while. Um, so the vibrato, the game we have for that is the, we, you put your right hand under your chin and this is called your living fingerboard. So this is like your cello fingerboard. And then with your left hand, you put your long finger, the middle finger, maybe the strong finger, on your wrist, anywhere on your arm, anywhere, and you start swinging your arm. Now keep the thumb in the air with the other finger, as you can see. Now, we swing from the elbow to the tip of the finger. Elbow to the tip of the finger. It's all one movement. We say no hills and no valleys. Just a straight line. If you're wondering if your arm is straight, you can actually put your bow on it and see, like that. So, so all um, children and adults, they get this really immediately from the first lesson. And just getting that swing all in one piece. This is the easiest way to do vibrato. I won't confuse you by saying what to avoid. I think it's better if I just say that nice swing. You're following the curve of the nail. Now, then you take your pacello. Let's see, after maybe a week of trying that out. And then you put your same finger on the wood between the A and D string, between the top two strings. And you do the same swing. So there's no pressure on the finger. You're just on the wood. And that's the, honestly, the, to me, it's the easiest way of getting the hang of the vibrato swing. So when you've done that for a while, and you can try the other fingers, third finger, also with the thumb in the air. Then take your bow and maybe do pretendy vibrato. So you could play with the bow on the C string at the same time with your finger only on the wood. So therefore you get the feeling of the coordination of doing the bow stroke and doing the vibrato with the left hand. And when you feel very comfortable with that, pick a note, we'll say C on the G string, because the G string is easy to play on. It's easier for the bow arm. So C, because I can see my vibrato. So then you start doing the finger and the bow on the same string. The next thing we do is we slightly turn the arm diagonal. That's co the correct position for the left hand. So I've slightly changed. I'm slightly more diagonal and continue. And if that feels comfortable, put your thumb under your second finger because that is now the correct position for your thumb. More on the edge there. There's vibrato. It works really well. It's really easy to do it that way.